Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are worthy, O oh God, of all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. It is the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't say hallelujah too long without feeling him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, we are outside, but hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the name of our God. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. There is none like unto him. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift up the name of Yahweh. Hallelujah. We magnify the name of Jesus. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be exalted. He is worthy to be adored. He is worthy to be worshipped. He is Adonai and Elohim. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. All of the gods are idols at best glory. But our God reigns and he rules and he stands forever. He is the only wise God. We ascribe power, dominion, and majesty glory. Glory. glory to the name of our God. What a very glory to the name of our God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is God. And his mercy endure it forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of all gods. Oh, give thanks unto the King of all kings. He is worthy. We come to tell you he is worthy. We come to tell you there is no other God. He is our refuge and our strength. Hallelujah. He is a very present help in times of your trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We come to make his name glorious. Hallelujah. On Division Street, he is God. I on Walnut Street, he is God. On East Main Street, he is God. Hallelujah. He is worthy. He is worthy. The arms of flesh will fail you, but he is worthy. Yes. Glory be to God. Circumstances will cut up. But he is worthy. Glory. Glory. Glory, glory. We clear the atmosphere for the word. Come on, Rehoboth. We clear the atmosphere for the word. That those who are listening, ah, God, that something will be said to draw them to the bleeding side of Almighty God. That they may come to know him as their own personal savior. That the joy that we are experiencing they will to experience it. Hallelujah. 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 It's not just words. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Every soul under the sound of our voice. Every soul under the sound of our hallelujah. Every sound of our soul of our thank you, Jesus. We remove the blockage even now. Hallelujah. We remove the ignorance in the atmosphere. We take control of this atmosphere. That preaching will be easy. That our praises will ascend. Glory be to God. And that the seeds that have been planted even now. That they will germinate and bring forth much fruit. In the name of Jesus. 
We're not here by accident or chance, but it's by divine appointment. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God to tell you that Jesus reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Every hallelujah that you said is for a soul that is occupying these houses. Hallelujah. Every thank you, Jesus, is for a boy, a woman, and a girl in these houses. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Come on, intercessors. Glory. We know how to pray. Hallelujah. Every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. Hallelujah. They're hearing us. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And we pray that the presence of God that is on this spot of ground will go into their homes. Hallelujah. Will heal them in their homes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory release the angels of the Lord. The ministering angels to go to work. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. That God will empty the streets and their house and fill the houses and the kingdom of God. That they will find purpose in the house of God. Hallelujah. That every lie that the enemy has told them will be nullified by the power and the love of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 God wants to do something in somebody's house today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But I implore you that while you're sitting, intercede. Glory be to God. At this time, we're preparing for the woman of God to come. Yes, this is the time for the word. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Lift your hand. Lift your hands and say, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Release, release your power. Hey. 
praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's a command. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You may be seated at this time. Hallelujah. We thank God for all that he has done and is doing in Jesus' name. You pray for me. I was thinking um, the other uh, week, I had something that I felt like the Lord had wanted me to say, but it got changed. So we thank the Lord. And, and today, I'm not going to do a lot of hollering and screaming, I don't think. And, uh, but as one of the mothers of the church, I'm going to be talking to you as my children to encourage you in this day and time that we're living in, we need more encouragement than ever before because the enemy is out to kill, steal, and destroy us. But our, our scripture today, should I sing my song now or later? Later, thank you, <laughs> my musician. The scripture that I'm um, coming from today is a very, very familiar scripture, Galatians 6 and verse 9. And it says, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. It's telling us what to do, but there's a but there. We have to do a certain thing in order for us not to be weary in well-doing. I was doing some reading, and I was reading about the Navy SEALs. And the Navy SEALs, they enter into this course, and it's about 71 weeks long. And if anybody knows anything about the SEALs, you know they are the elite of the elite. They are the cream of the crop. But the, what they have to go through to get to be the cream of the crop is a lot of training. 71 weeks of training. When they enter into the compound or the base where they're going to be doing the training, in the center of the compound is a bell. And the bell is there for those who feel they have reached the end of their rope. The bell is there for those to say, I can't do it anymore. I'm tired. You have lack of sleep. You have lack of rest. It's a very, very, very difficult course to get go through. And I don't care how many people try it, only 1% get through it. Now, when they enter into, when they sign up for it, everybody knows about the bell. Everybody knows if you can't handle it, you go and ring the bell. So I'm here to let the saints know, don't ring the bell. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. No matter what we're going through, and you know, life is tough. We're not even talking about salvation right now, but life is tough. We go through struggles. We go through heartaches. We go through pain. We go through sickness. But don't ring the bell, saints. No matter what we're going through, hang in there. Because the Lord promised he would not leave us. It's bad enough to ring the if, if, if. And let me tell you, the time in my life, I rang the bell. I said to myself, I'm tired. Gone through enough. I'm finished with this. And I'm going to do my thing. But one thing about being in the Navy, once you ring the bell, you can never be a seal. They'll put you somewhere within the force and within the navy in the office or what but you will never be a seal but one thing about god if we ring the bell he'll take us back hallelujah unconditionally he will he will love us like he did before a lot of times we have to go through the guilt that we went through but saints whatever we do don't ring the bell don't 
ring the bell. Sister Shantia, I'm going to go to the, I want to make sure I get these scriptures right. She said, Sister Shantia preached a couple of Sundays ago about what did God say. And I'm here to let you know some of the things that God said. God said, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, be unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that the Lord, you're knowing that the Lord, your God and your work is not going to be in vain. That's a guarantee. That is a guarantee. So when you feel you can't make it anymore, think about be ye steadfast. Steadfast is to, as, a, as a Kirk Franklin say, when you've done all that you can do, stand. Yeah. Hallelujah, because he's there. He's there to help us. I, I wrote the scriptures down because I want to make sure I quote them right. Psalm 66, for thou, O God, has proved us. Thou has tried us as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us unto the net. Thou layest affliction upon our loin. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through the fire and through the water. But, hallelujah, thou hast brought us out into a healthy place. Hallelujah. So no matter what we're going through, you can put it over there. No matter what we're going through, we're coming out in a healthy place. Hallelujah. A, a very familiar scripture. God is our refuge. And he's our strength. He's our very present help in trouble. Saints, don't ring the bell. Don't ring the bell. Hallelujah. This is one of my favorite scriptures. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee through the rivers. Thou shalt not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle thee. And that means neither shall the flame scorch thee. And one thing that stuck out with me when it says the use of when and if. If you walk through the fly, it says when you pass it through the fire, that you're going to go through it. Not if you pass through the fire, you're going to go through a fire. It's inevitable. You cannot get through this life and not go through the fire. So when you go through the fire, he's, I don't need it. He's going to be with us. What, listen, saints, I, I don't know what I, I have so much in my mind. But the bottom line is, don't ring the bell. We have sleepless nights. We cry. What the women do? I don't know about the men. We can cry until our eyes are swollen. Men cry. Because of what we're going through, we feel we cannot make another step. You feel that God has forsaken you. Mentally, you're tired. Physically, you're tired. And you say, what is the, well, what, what anyway, I'm not going to say what. <laughs> oh, folks, listen. But, <laughs> but the bottom, you know what, we, we may say it at home, but I'm not going to say it here online. Anyway, what in the devil am I going through? I am a child of God, and we feel we're not supposed to go through these things. But we have to realize it's better to go through it with him than to go through it without him. There's those in the world, they can't take it. The pressure is too much. They, co they contemplate suicide, and they do it. But we have a Savior who has told us when you go through the waters, he's going to be with us. Sister Brown, he's not going to leave us. He's not going to forsake us. I'll let you know, there was a time in my life, and I've shared it with some of you, there was a time in my life where I felt like I wasn't doing like I was supposed to do. And that there is a danger in not doing what you're supposed to do. I, wasn't, I was living away from home, doing my thing. Wasn't really going to church like I should. So something happened in my life. And when it happened in my life, it floored me. 
And one thing about it, the enemy will come and play in your mind. And if you don't have word to back it up, you will fall in his trap. And he was talking to me. I was living away. I didn't have family there. But I thank God that somebody was praying for me. When you can't pray for yourself, somebody needs to be praying for you. And the bottom line is I even contemplated suicide. Just think, I wouldn't be standing here, y'all. But I'm here. So, but, but the one thing about me, I don't like pain. So I, never, I wasn't going to shoot myself. I wasn't going to stab myself. I was not going to create any pain. I am not a pill person, and I had no pills in the house except for a leave. So I said to myself, what am I going to do? And I called my mother. The Lord laid my mother on my heart because I was in a bad state. And we can get to that point. We don't know what to do. And I called my mother, and I was crying and sobbing on the phone with her, letting her, I was just emptying out my cares to her. But my mother was a praying woman. I thank God for the prayers of my mom and the saints of God. Because one day, I ended up leaving where I was living, and I moved back home. Because I needed, I needed to be home. I'm just breaking up everything. <laughs> I needed to be home, and where I was was not the place where I needed to be. I needed to be where my strength was. I needed to be where the prayer was, and I thank God that I came to myself as the prodigal son, and I realized, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. I rang the bell. I rang the bell, but thanks be to God, I got it together. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God, I got it together. And because I got it together, I'm here today. Hallelujah. I'm pressing on the outward way. I, I thank God because he's just that kind of God. He doesn't say to you, well, you know, I know what you did. You know you're not worthy of the Lord. You know you did this and you did that. And why do you feel you can stand before the saints of God and testify? You don't have any business doing it. And I rebuked him. And I said, I am. As Bishop says to us, I know who I am and I know whose I am. I am a child of the king. Hallelujah. How dare you tell me I can't praise my God? How dare you tell me I can't worship my God? How dare you tell me I can't fast when I need it. How dare you tell me I can't read my scripture. I am well able to do it all. And I won't ring the bell. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He is worthy, saints. We're in trying times. The enemy is trying to destroy us one by one. And we're all going through something or some been through something. But whatever you do, don't Ring the bell. Hallelujah. Don't ring the bell. Hang in there. Do what you have to do. No matter if you have to crawl to the house of God. Come on to the house of God. Get your deliverance in the house of God. Because he's there. The enemy knows if he can get you away from church, he got you. He knows that. So we have a tendency of falling in that trap. He'll say, well, you know, but you know what? If I had to go to work, I'd go to work depressed. But you know, I thank God for who he is. And my desire and my aim for you as my children, don't ring the bell, saints. Whatever you do, don't ring the bell. That's all I have to say. Hallelujah. There was a song I wanted to sing. I got to find the words so I don't know it. <laughs> Hold on. I called, I called my musician. Uh, well, I'm in trouble. This song is hopefully is to encourage you that no matter what you're going through, don't be weary. Don't give up. Because he is there to deliver you and to make ways for you. Whatever you do, don't ring the bell. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> okay, y'all pray for me. <clears throat> Lord, I 
You've been waiting on a blessing. It seems it won't come. Doors are shut. Things are rough. It seems that you are done. <coughs> the devil is a liar and a deceiver too. God is not through blessing you. You've been waiting on a blessing. It seems it just won't come. Doors are shut. Things are rough. It seems that you are done. <clears throat> but the devil is a liar. Blessing you. You've been waiting on deliverance. It seems it just won't come. Body sick, pain everywhere. It seems nobody cares. But the devil. He is a liar and a deceiver too. But keep in mind, God is not through blessing you. It just won't come. Pain everywhere. And your body is sick. It seems like no one cares. But keep in mind, the devil, he's a liar and a deceiver too.
Blessy, you, whatever he has promised, he, he will do. Don't ring the bell. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. All, all the, the sound of my voice, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Maybe there's one under the sound of my voice, whether you're in your home, whether you're in your car, whether you're sitting on the porch, and you feel heavy like I don't know what to do. But we've come out, we brought church, amen, we bought the sanctuary, we bought, amen, we came outside of the building to let you know that Jesus is the answer. Though life at times may seem weary, though at, at times it may seem that life is rough, but we've got an answer to the problem and that answer is Jesus. If you do not know him in the pardon of your sin, if you do not know that he is the one that hears you, he's the one that can save you. He is the one that can set you free. He's the one that can bring you out and he can bring you to a wealthy place. We invite you to come. Maybe you're saying, preacher, as the woman of God was preaching, she was preaching to me because there were times when I felt low and there was times when I felt weary and there was times when I felt like giving up. But guess what? The very fact that you're here today and the very fact that you can hear my voice lets you know that you have another day and you have another round in you and God has purpose and he has plans for your life. All you've got to do is surrender to him and say, yes, Lord, have your way in my life. Jesus, he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten. The Lord so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He said that whosoever believeth in him, you should not perish, but have everlasting life. And I've come to tell you, it does not matter what you have done. Because if you look under this tent, all of us have done something. And I guarantee whatever you've done, we've done it and probably more. But the very fact that it does not matter what we've done, he still loved us and he still loves you. He wants you to come. He wants to give you everlasting life. He wants to fill you with his spirit. And maybe you're saying, preacher, I don't want to come. But guess what? We're going to come to you because we're going to send prayer. And where we cannot reach physically, prayer can reach you. Where we cannot go physically, guess what? Prayer can go there. And we want to let you know that Jesus Come on this way, Evangelist Brown. Jesus wants to save you. He wants to heal you. And he wants to set you free. And where you feel like there is no hope, we've come to tell you that there is hope. <laughs> there is hope, and that hope's name is Jesus. At this time, we're going to have Evangelist Brown. She's going to come and she's going to pray. Glory to God. Come on, Evangelist Brown. Come on. Glory to God. Amen. She's going to come and she's going to pray. Amen. And we pray that this prayer finds you and this prayer ministers to your heart, your mind. And as she is praying, if you want to come, the gates are open, the doors are open, and we're going to invite you in that you might come. And you might find what you need. If somebody can get her a mic, glory to God. Glory to God as she comes. Glory to God. We are here. And Jesus is here waiting with his outstretched hands. For he wants you to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, O oh God. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. 
We glorify your name, Abba Father. Hallelujah. We magnify your great name. Hallelujah, Jesus, Lord God. We honor you on today, mighty God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you for your presence uh, being here with us, oh, God. Hallelujah. And God, thank you for showing up uh, in our very midst, oh, God. Hallelujah. God, you're not found everywhere. Uh, God, but you are here with us on today. Uh, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, uh, uh, God, we thank you. Hallelujah for you being God. Uh, God, there is no other God like you. Uh, uh, God, none above you uh, and none beside you. Uh, you are God who cannot be equaled uh, and you are God who cannot uh, be rivaled. We thank you on today, mighty God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Lord God we thank you oh God for your word ha, ha. Oh God do not ring the bell ha. Oh God almighty thank you oh God for your woman servant God hallelujah Jesus God I pray Lord God that you would bless her oh God that you would strengthen her God oh God in every way and on every side mighty God in the name of Jesus oh God bless us on today Lord God help us oh God not to be weary in well doing oh God for in due season we will reap if we faint not oh God we thank you for those that are in their houses oh God that are listening even right now oh God they're going through hallelujah God many are frustrated oh God because of the inflation oh God there's so many killings oh God so many murders oh God God, but in the name of Jesus, uh, God, we plead the blood. Uh, we plead the blood, Hadabahosha. Uh, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ uh, all over this place, uh, Katosha. Uh, God, all over. Uh, oh, God, this atmosphere, uh, all over the city of Waterbury. Uh, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, God, cover us on today. Uh, cover the people of the city. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, God, make it the same place, oh God, for us to live and raise our children in the name of Jesus. Lord God, destroy every scheme, every plot, every plot of the adversary against the city and against your people, oh God. We ask God that you have your way. Let your divine will be done, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, continue, oh God, to strengthen our bishop and our pastor oh God and all the saints all the ministers oh God raise us up oh God even the more with your fire oh God help us to arise from sleep and slumber in the name of Jesus have your way oh God let your will be done let your will be done in each and every one of us hallelujah as we continue Lord God to work for you as we continue to serve in the city and in this ministry Father have your way we say thank you we say thank you we say thank you we say thank you thank you for our musicians thank you God thank you for your people who thought in that robbery to come out in this heat oh God we thank you Oh, da 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 ba sa ta ha. Hey, yanda boho sa ya. Rosh kata manda boho sa. Ye kata yikoto. Shikanda la boho sa ya. Mate kato shanda. Mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We say thank you. We appreciate you, God. We love you, Abba Father. We worship and we adore you. Can we all say thank you? Can we all say thank you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God, thank you, Jesus. You lift me up. You lift me up. In the fullness of your
and just begin to give God praise if you know he's your strength. Come on, if you received what you needed on today and you know you won't throw, you won't tap the bell. <laughs> oh God, there are times when you feel like tapping out. There are times when you feel like giving up. Huh? But he has given you the strength that you needed to endure. He said the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, but to he that endureth until the end. <laughs> And the very fact that you're here saying that you've got some enduring power. Hey, glory. Glory to God. We honor the Lord. Let us celebrate Jesus for our first lady who brought such a dynamic word. Glory to God. It is good to hear from her. How many of you feel your strength on today? 
And how many said, I came in one way, but I'm determined that after that word, I'm not going to tap the bell. After that word, I'm not going to back up. After that word, I'm going to press in. Glory to God. We thank God for each and every one of you. Now we're going to have a part of the service, amen, where everybody, how many know that anybody who's everybody, who is somebody can participate and we can honor the Lord at this time. Amen. Glory to God. You know what we're doing. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves to worship the Lord. Ah, God, in the way that he has blessed us. Glory to God. Amen. Our ushers are moving. Glory to God. They're giving you what you need at this time. And while they're preparing, maybe there's one under the sound of my voice. And listen, I just need prayer. And I want you to lay your hands on me. I want you to come. I just believe that the Lord did what he wanted to do. But in the event, you're like, that's me. And I need it. Come on now. We're here. I know that's right. That sounds like victory over there. That's victory. I know that's right, Mother Jackson. I know that's right. Hey, I know that's right, Mother Jackson. She said victory is in the corner over there. Hey. Glory. I feel victory. <laughs> May have been tired, but I'm not tired no more. May have been weary, but I'm not weary no more. May have felt like throwing in the towel, but that's not my testimony. 